Hey everyone, I just made a new video and it's called Your House Smells. I hope it doesn't, but if it does, you gotta get rid of those smells before you put your house on the market. So watch my latest video and get nine tips on how you can help your house not smell so you can sell it for top dollar. Here's the simple truth. Houses that smell good sell faster than houses that smell bad. There's no shocking revelation there. Maybe one thing that is, though, is that the best smell is really a house where you can't smell anything at all. Even smells that we think of as good smells can be bad when you're selling your house. And there's nothing worse than cat urine or the smell of cigarette smoke to turn off potential buyers. When I walk into a house with prospective buyers and there's a strong odor, the first thing that they comment on, regardless of whether they can identify that smell or not, is the smell. I'll never forget the time I took a family to see a gorgeous single family colonial house in one of the most desirable neighborhoods in Bethesda. They loved the house. It was gorgeous. But the previous owners had smoked in the house for years. And even though they started smoking outside once the house was on the market, the damage was already done. The buyer's impression of the house and all of the work that needed to be done to remove the smell had already been made. At this point, the house was already worth less by the tens of thousands. So in case you don't know, let's talk about the steps that these owners are going to need to take now to remove that cigarette smell from their house. Well, the first one is they're going to need to remove all of the fabrics in the home. So that is their carpets and the padding underneath, rugs, curtains, and even some of their furniture. The cigarette smell had already permeated all of these materials. So number two is they are going to need to repaint the entire house. They're going to need to use some kind of product like kills that can cover the odor. Number three, they're going to need to bring somebody in who can filter the air using ozone or one of the greener solutions available to actually come in and filter all of the air in the house and remove the smoke. As you can imagine, this is an expensive solution to this problem. And it's one that scales with the size of the house. In order to get top dollar for the house, the owners should have undertaken these measures before they put their house on the market. This way they can remove the negative connotations from their mind. And also so they can make this house competitive with the other ready to move in homes on the market. The worst smells that you can have in your house are garbage, pet smells, mold, body odor, and tobacco. So I have some similar stories for uh, the pet smells and mold, which have some of their own uh, similar uh, remediation steps that need to be taken, especially with something like mold, which could point to some kind of water leak or structural problem that might be really the cause of the mold to begin with. All right, so what are the steps you can take to make sure that your house doesn't smell when it's on the market? Number one, take your trash out more regularly. It may be fine when you're living there, but when you have your house on the market, take it out more often. And if you have a showing appointment and you're at your house, go ahead and just take that trash right out before you leave for the showing appointment. Is your teenager on the football team? Do that dirty laundry more often. Don't let it hang out in a room. We don't want your rooms smelling like body odor. Before your house goes on the market, have someone come in and professionally clean your carpets. That will help get rid of some of the pet smells and just live-in smells that you might have in your carpets. And you can keep this smell fresh and clean while you're on the market by vacuuming with baking soda. Number four, mold can be a big problem. If your house smells like mold, then you need to find the origin of that mold. Look for a leak, look for water and moisture that's in your house. This may require that you bring in a mold remediation expert to help you restore your house. Number five, if you have pets, you need to wash them more frequently. People are, especially those who don't have pets of their own, more sensitive to the smell of your pet than you are. And you don't want dirty pets putting that odor onto your furniture, rugs, beds, etc. Number six, clean your cat's litter box more often. If you aren't already cleaning it daily, you should be. Number seven, do you have a pet that pees on your floor or used to pee on your floor? 
Pet urine is a specially strong odor that everyone recognizes. Furthermore, it's very damaging. So whether you had carpets, it could have gone through the carpets into the padding, and even a professional clean won't get it out. Or it could have gone all the way through to the subfloor. And if you have hardwood floors, it could be soaking right through that floor into the subfloor as well. So you may need to actually remove the carpet and the padding and potentially the subfloor. Also, if you had hardwood floors, you may be able to refinish it, but depending on how much urine and how often, etc., you may actually need to replace damaged sections. Since hardwood floors are such a selling feature, this is worth the investment. Number eight, don't smoke in your house. If you have already been smoking in your house, then just like in that story, you're going to need to bring somebody in to remediate this before you go on the market. Number nine, repainting your house will do wonders for your house and will also help to get rid of life smells that have accumulated over time. Also, buyers love freshly repainted houses. These steps may seem self-explanatory, but I can't tell you how many people don't take an effort to make sure that their house looks and smells right. So take a minute to Go through these steps before you put your house on the market. Don't worry, buyers will notice, or better yet, they won't. <laughs>